excuse me, delivery. I am bringing you some more paints. Uh, not for dinner, but uh, for like a paint with me. We're gonna paint today. I'm really excited for this. These are the jelly gouache paints that I used in a recent video. My palette was ultra crusty back then, but then I gave it some TLC and it looks a little bit better. We're gonna be painting with this today. I'm really excited. It's gonna be like a hang out with me type of video. So if you have some art supplies, you wanna hang out, you wanna create with me. Well, you're in the right place. I'm glad you're here. So for this piece, I am going to do something very similar to what I did in the last painting. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I painted this in the last video that I did jelly gouache with, and this was such a fun piece to create. I actually went to Scandinavia back in August, and it was such a fun trip. I really, really enjoyed it. And the Scandinavian style folk art has really inspired me ever since I went there. And I've always been drawn to folk art. So I want to do something similar to this so that it has like a sister painting. So let's get kind of festive. Let's see what we can do. One of the big things that I like to do at the beginning of these folk paintings is lay down some ink. That will not be reactivated with water, so that's a really nice part of this painting because everything else I'm doing on top can be reactivated if I want to, but I want that background to just stay as it is. I decided to use my calligraphy inks mostly just because I'm trying to use up art supplies that I already have. And I am trying to buy less things this year, so it feels really good to use things up, even if it's not calligraphy. I'm doing art, I'm using it, feels good. Anyway, it turned out like a really cute brick color, which was really fitting for the season. And now we're gonna start the folk art piece. So, one of the big things I knew I wanted was imperfect symmetry because the last piece had that. And I really loved the feeling of making the sides the same in a very like imperfect way. So like the house is definitely not symmetrical and that will be the focal point. And then everything around it will be like a little bit symmetrical. <laughs> Totally recommend doing this, by the way. I mentioned this in the last video, but doing artwork that's kind of symmetrical makes things easier in some ways. I know it sounds intimidating, like trying to get it perfect on both sides, hence why I'm stressing the imperfect thing. But when you do something that's symmetrical, you only have to think about one half of the painting because the other half is conveniently planned out. <laughs> I really enjoy that aspect of these paintings that I have been doing lately. So hope you enjoy that too. While we're hanging out, I want to tell you about some things that I have been creating and some of these things, I don't even know if I've showed you yet, so let's just get into it. I have been making a lot of new merch for my shop lately and I love my Blubble Fly character. So I decided to make it into a Blubble Bee and I really like this. I also recently made this moth sticker which is very consistent with the folk art in this video. Here's some cozy cup stickers. Also, I redid the Art Fam sticker. <sighs> this makes me so happy to have it in new colors. It was like pastels and stuff last time, but I feel like this really fits the time of year and it feels super vintage. There's also this B sticker. Also, you know how we call ourselves style hoppers here on my channel? Well, I am planning to make style hopper stuff eventually. That will be a 2024 project. However, I made this sticker that says I'm kind of a phasey artist and uh, I love it so much. Also, here's some super cute washi tape. Also this one, 
Ah, makes me so happy. Anyway, I just wanted to take a moment, share a couple of the new things that are in my shop. This holiday season, I have decided not to take any sponsors and just to promote my own artwork that I have been working hard on for months and it feels so good to share it with you and I hope that you feel a lot of joy from this stuff too. So yeah, thanks for taking the time to watch this little segment. Again, if you want anything, you can go to mirabyler.com. I will link it down below. Let's get back to the artwork. Something that was really important to me while creating this painting was to evoke feelings of warmth. And I wanted to do that for several reasons. I think every year at this time, I tend to reflect on things that I'm thankful for. And so with this, there's a lot of simple things in here that I am just so grateful for you know, warm socks, a warm house, being able to look out the window at nature, even if it's not green. <laughs> um, sometimes you still see an occasional bird or a squirrel and you can be thankful for that. I am totally thankful for warm drinks. My tea, my coffee, my hot chocolate, that is my go-to. So yes, there is the feelings of warmth, thankfulness, but also just that cozy vibe that you can get from a piece of artwork like this was so important to me because I know once the holidays are over and we are less busy, it is just so easy to look out the window and be like, wow, it's so cold out there. This day looks dreary. That's kind of saddening. <laughs> And I don't know if any of you folks struggle with seasonal sadness, but it definitely hits me around like February and March. So having artwork like this in my house at a colder time of year, I think helps with that like boredom that comes with cold weather and just the feeling of being stuck inside, the dreary days, yeah, all of that. I really like to use my artwork to bring different elements of joy and coziness into a home. So there's a little serious note for you, but that's part of what inspired this in hindsight. So yeah, I really enjoyed creating this though because I really did try to focus on like simple, simple things to create this imperfectly symmetrical piece. And now that I'm done with this piece and I am looking back at this video, I'm like watching it with you, by the way, and telling you what's going on. <laughs> um, I really do feel very thankful for just simple things like heat in my house. And as I said, warm socks, um, all those tiny things add up. And yeah, just really thankful for it. I'm really thankful for my family, for my friends, um, for my church, just for all my loved ones. I'm thankful for you folks, my art family. I do have a question of the day. If you would like to reflect on either things you are thankful for or things that make you feel safe and cozy, I would love to hear about either of those in the comments. Also, if you are painting or drawing or doing any creative activity with me and you want to share about it, totally invite you to do that in the comments as well. Let's have a conversation down there. I think it's really fun to create with you and just to hear about the things that you folks are making too. When I create art, I really love to have a video on in the background and feel like, yeah, I'm creating with somebody. I think in total, this piece took maybe two or three hours to make and it did not take nearly as long as a lot of other folk art pieces I have done in the past. So in some ways that's really nice because I think I've been really reflecting on simplicity in my life lately and I think it did come out a little bit through this piece of art. All right, so I'm wrapping up this piece and adding little details with different elements of nature. These little like puffball things, I imagine them as like you know those like little yellow button flower things that dry in the fall? I, I don't remember the name, but that's kind of what I envisioned with that. And then all these little dots here can either be interpreted as early snowflakes or stars. That's kind of what I have in my mind. I really like adding like berries and dots to 
my folk art to fill the extra space. I think it always makes it look a little bit more decorative. So yeah, I hope you like this piece. Here it is finished. I still have it on the little block that I need to cut off, but thoroughly enjoyed this. Anyway, if you want to bring some coziness into your home with this piece, I do have some limited edition prints available at mirabyler.com. I will link my shop down below. But I really enjoyed creating this and just taking a step back to slow down, rest, reflect on simplicity. And again, I think this piece did make me feel really thankful just for really seemingly minute things in my life because I think they really snowball and they add up and it's easy to forget about the heat in our house or that the lights turn on and just simple things but um, they're big things. I really love creating with you folks. It's just so nice to geek out over art together. So with that being said, thanks for hanging out. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye!